Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this video episode, we'll talk about the progress I made during last week uh, related to uh, data processing and data preparation for Donut model training. So let's uh, jump to the screen and uh, yeah, let's go step by step. So actually this week I was busy working on uh, transforming data that we got from the OCR, uh, OCR transforming this data to the format uh, readable <coughs> by uh, <coughs> by our tool, uh, Sparrow uh, Data Annotation Tool, which is open source, and uh, you can get the source code uh, uh, from the GitHub URL is below the video. This tool is uh, still work in progress, and yeah, based uh, probably it should be finished soon. Uh, but <coughs> yeah, this video is recorded based on that uh, tool, and uh, you can. Uh, you can see uh, what's missing and uh, just follow along and probably uh, maybe next week um, we'll reach the step when you could use uh, the tool for data map data mapping from from start to, to end and uh, get the data data source which uh, will be ready for uh, to be used for donut fine tuning so this week i was busy on uh, grouping uh, functionality implementation uh, you know, from OCR you, you get uh, uh, text data, uh, but often uh, for the words that are uh, kind of, uh, words belong to the same sentence, uh, right? But OCR would uh, very often would return um, those words as a separate result items. So uh, with, uh, with separate bounding boxes and like a separate entries. And this could be like an address uh, which goes multiple line or um, uh, like a customer name, if it's a long name that goes multiple lines, or even if it's on the same line, but it goes uh, on multiple words. But um, when you would like to train Donut, you don't want to treat uh, address like a, a set of different words. You just want to have a single sentence with multiple words, right? The same is true for item descriptions on an invoice. Uh, very often item description goes on multiple lines with multiple words. Uh, from OCR you would get uh, each word as a separate uh, entry in OCR result. But you would like to group that into one sentence uh, to be able to uh, tell or inform Donut model that, uh, hey, look, this is the uh, item description or this is the uh, address uh, added description with full information. Uh, so that Donut would be able to uh, understand this part and, and uh, learn that this is address or this is uh, item description and so on. Yeah, so first of all, uh, this is uh, uh, GitHub repo where you get the source code uh, for Sparrow for our open source product. And uh, under Sparrow data, we get uh, you get all the functionality related to uh, dataset processing. And you should check my previous video where I describe which uh, uh, data set we are using uh, for this uh, sample use case uh, to build our own data set. Uh, we're using set of invoices that uh, you could find the reference URL from where we got those invoices and so on. So all of that in, in previous video. So what uh, managed to implement this week is to implement this data converter uh, Python script, which uh, uh, takes OCR output. Uh, by the way, we're using uh, OCR tool that uh, is uh, works uh, quite well and uh, it's called uh, DocTR and uh, I compared multiple uh, OCR implementations like a Tesseract, uh, Paddle OCR, I think uh, some others, but I came out to the conclusion that uh, DocTR returns uh, very good result uh, and uh, uh, even if the image is blurry, uh, we'll say, and the text is not clear, it still is managing to uh, uh, retrieve the correct uh, text, uh, correct words quite uh, quite well. So that's why we're using um, DocTR. And you can see this in uh, requirements uh, txt file for 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 this for Sparrow data project that we refer to the DocTR. Right. So in this class, we convert. Um, uh, OCR output to Sparrow format. So we have mm, this kind of header and then we translate um, bounding boxes to be uh, for those annotations to be visualized in Sparrow. We denormalize them 
and uh, also we uh, store all the values and label is empty because labels will be assigned through a manual step uh, for during step of, of data preparation. Right, and as a result, we get, let me switch to PyCharm. So as a result, we get uh, this kind of file, a JSON file with the header information where we get the uh, width and height. And then uh, every uh, item that we got from OCR is uh, under separate word. So we have an array of different words. So each word is represented with a bounding box, value, and empty label. So just to keep it simple, um, very simple and straightforward way to uh, to, to, to describe the, the, the structure. And I'm not using <clears throat> output from OCR uh, directly uh, on purpose. And this, this is, this, uh, we have our own data format in, in Sparrow for a reason, just to make it more simple, to have this clear, uh, simple, rather flat structure to uh, represent the data set. So that if in future we'll using uh, some different OCR solution or we'll, we'll get data for uh, data sets from another system with different format, we still would like to convert it to uh, Sparrow format and keep it like a unified and, and simple. Right, so, and, and then for now, uh, what I did, I, I took all those JSON files that were converted from OCR file to Sparrow format and copied them uh, into the Sparrow UI into docs folder. So in future versions, maybe uh, as we go along, uh, we'll see how it goes. Maybe in the paid versions, we'll have um, uh, different microservices structure where uh, this data transfer will be automated from microservice that uh, uh, builds uh, uh, data sets and uh, then from there we'll refer from the UI part and, and get all those all those files automatically. But for now, just to keep it simple, in this open source version, we just uh, manually copy paste all the uh, output files from uh, data project into the UI project. And over here we have data annotation. Uh, script and in this data annotation script uh, I created new function called uh, group annotations and uh, yeah unfortunately streamlet uh, this is the solution that we were using to build this UI uh, it doesn't come with um, very it doesn't come with powerful uh, grid or table uh, yeah they provide options to build, to implement table or grid but uh, there's no option to implement multi-selection or row selection and so on. So for now, uh, yeah, there's no option like that. But luckily, we have a third-party component uh, for Streamlit, which is called AG Grid, which is implemented on some very popular open source uh, grid for JavaScript, which is uh, called the same way, uh, AG Grid. And it's quite powerful. It comes with pagination support, with multi-select support, <clears throat> and it's easy to get uh, data. Uh, for the select rows and so on. So I'm using this component to render <clears throat> OCR data in a table format, and this makes it easier for the user to do grouping. So we'll, we'll see in a moment how it looks like. <clears throat> so the idea is is uh, is that we present user a table, and user would select all the uh, words that are related together uh, and should belong to the same sentence. Select all those rows and click uh, save. And then what we do, we uh, get words from all those separate, all those rows and uh, build a single sentence and replace the first uh, entry and then all the other entries will be deleted. And the bounding box is reconstructed by getting um, uh, like, like this over here, a uh, new X and Y coordinates, uh, getting minimum and maximum coordinates from all this set of um, rows or entries that we are uh, grouping, and <clears throat> we are producing new uh, large uh, bounding box that um, uh, wraps entire sentence, all the items that are getting into the single sentence. Yeah, so all this source code is available online. It's uh, th this function is still is work in progress, and I'll commit. The final version uh, either today or tomorrow, but yeah, you'll have uh, all the source code available uh, in Sparrow repo on the GitHub and uh, URL is below the video. So let's uh, have a quick demo. So this is the UI part and let's go to 
data annotation. Okay, so this uh, invoice document, uh, and this is the invoice document, and we have those blue boxes. Uh, this is the output from OCR, from TR OCR, and uh, we are rendering blue boxes based on the data which was converted from OCR output into the Sparrow format, into this uh, simple, rather flat JSON file, and we are loading the JSON file in this UI. And uh, this, this, this component is um, the, the component that renders invoice is also our uh, Sparrow uh, Streamlit labeling component, uh, which is based on another open source uh, uh, Streamlit uh, labeling component with functionality uh, with some additional functionality that was uh, added by by me basically. Yeah, so the issue with, uh, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the issue with um, OCR output is uh, is here. Let's say we have a seller, and this is the seller address. And uh, you see it's a sentence on multiple lines, where you have a zip code, uh, street, uh, <clears throat> street address, the name, and so on. OCR would treat uh, all this um, uh, information with separate words, and it makes it complex to build um, uh, training data set for donut because the address should be one single uh, sentence. So what uh, I implemented over here is this grouping functionality where we get the same data in the table format as you see on the UI. And what we do here, we select, let's say, Patel. This is the first entry and it ends with the zip code over here. So I select it like this and I want to group uh, all those uh, separate entries into the single entry, right? And then I just click save. And yeah, the, the UI reloads. And what we got here, we got now a single entry. And if I just make it a bit ID arrow and value, make it more wide, we'll see that um, now we got under index eight, we get uh, all the sentence that relates to the uh, seller address. The same will be with client and uh, another option would be with item description. So let's, let's search item description. Probably it will be on the page two. Uh, it's over here, starts with leads and uh, ends with uh, cutter, this one. Selected all these roles related to description. Now press save. And yeah, it's quite fast. And then we do stream it to UI reload in order to make sure that everywhere information will be updated. So we get one single box for that sentence. And we got, um, if you go to the page two under ID 47, we got information about uh, about the value which is a uh, single sentence now. And the same if uh, later we could do, go to mapping, for example, and we could select uh, this entry and we see, uh, it says that this field is selected with this information, then we need to scroll and find it over here. This is the value and we could assign the label. So this would be, uh, this would be, I think, address. Uh, yeah, this is a seller address, uh, for example. Yeah, and I don't have yet proper items uh, for the labels, but okay, this will be in the next step. So uh, right now, uh, what I was uh, busy is to in, uh, enable grouping functionality and um, to fix the output from the OCR that we get from OCR to fix those multiple words in a single sentence. So the next step would be to test it, this functionality, and um, once uh, it's working, then I will move to the next step to uh, allow um, uh, to allow assigning uh, labels to those uh, elements, like uh, to specify that this selected uh, field that I selected is actually address, other thing is uh, uh, item description and so on. That's, uh, of course, this easier functionality, it's almost there. Uh, available, I need to define, uh, probably I need to build another screen where I would be able uh, to provide metadata for uh, those uh, kind of items and, and so on. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.